this could also be shown the other way around sideways you have the month coming down this way the quantity and the unit price and the amount in the end column and you have a comma column for any remarks you want to make uh, april 20000 you will multiply the 20000 by 10 dollars and you will get 200000 dollars so when you add down this way you will get your total sales for the right the accounts receivable collections budget this budget shows the expected cash collections of the sales now when we have past papers we have here Cavalcid incorporated the people let's come to the section that is pertinent to us the sales budget and the collections projected sales for the four months of 2009 as follows january 140,000, february 280,000, march 325 and april 400,000. Okay, notice first that we are given the information in dollars. So we don't have to multiply the units by the price. 20% of the company's sales will be for cash, and the remaining 80% will be on credit. Okay, sometimes they don't give you this part. The remaining 80% will be on credit. Okay, right? You should realize that 75 percent of the receivables the credit sales will be collected in the month of the sale and 23 percent in the following month the remaining receivables will be deemed uncollectible or bad debt okay now um the bad debt will not be included in the collections budget because you do not expect to collect it right the workings okay the total sales and we divide it up into the cash sales and the credit sales for each month so here we have the cash sales this 20 percent of 140,000 will give us 28,000 here it will give us 56,000 and here 65,000 the other 80 percent would be credit sales okay now we have two cycles in the collection of the credit sales or the accounts receivable okay 75 percent in the month of seal and 23 percent in the following month the rest is uncollectible so we put in our first cycle here all right we have to work it out something like this you may figure out some other method but this is very simple first cycle 75 percent by 112 75 percent by 124 we get the credit sales from here notice we do not include the cash sales the cash sales is included is um collected right away okay we will include it in the answer for the the collection of the collections budget but we will not include any our workings here so 75 percent by 124 and 75 percent by 260,000. and then the second cycle the 23 percent from here remember here has another 25 percent of um correct seals 23 percent will be collected here and the other 23 percent from here will be collected here and 23% from here would go down to April and here, but we are not for the moment in, interested in the April as part of our budget. Our answer would look something like this. Cash collection schedule, we have January, February, March. The cash sales, okay. We get them directly from here and they come into the top column. Then we have the current sales, the first cycle. What we will call this figure. 
put it in here. This will be 84,000. The second cycle, the 23 percent, comes in here. And the 168 is from the first cycle, 75 percent here. Okay, it may be good practice to put in the 75 percent here in market and 23 percent here as well. Okay, so we get 195 here and 51, 258. Then we add it down and we will get the total collections for the month here. Okay.